Hey guys, Sean Chief Field here with our brand new Las Vegas DVD Blu-ray hunting video. Yes, I'm out in Las Vegas. I was out here for a couple days. I got here, you know, uh, two days ago, and I pretty much yesterday just kind of went around to a mall or two and then kind of walked the strip a little bit. But today I'm going to be doing my movie hunting video, and there's a number of different spots out here to look for DVDs and Blu-rays out here. Uh, the one main one that I always like is Record City and then Zia Records. Those are the main ones. With Zia Records, there's two locations of that one. I believe Record City, there's two as well. And then there are used to be out here buybacks and there was like originally when I first started coming out here I think there was probably like four or five buybacks they were kind of all over the place there's one by a mall there's a couple standalone ones there's another one by a savers if you guys remember the early videos you always saw me going to those but now they're all totally gone I think the last one left was like the one by the mall closed I think the last one was here I believe and then like the other one like the one like the last standalone one was by a savers that's gone now I remember it moved to another location but now it's totally gone but the main places out here are Record City. There's a handful of other ones. There's a couple other ones I, I believe closed as well. There's one place too. There was like a video rental place that I don't know is still out here. It was like popcorn and candy, if you guys remember one of the past videos when I went out here. Uh, right now, though, I'm out front of the uh, Excalibur Casino. This is the main one that I usually like to stay at. I've stayed at this pretty much like every time I've been out here. Like in the past, I stayed like, I think the first time I ever came out here, I stayed at Hooters. That was back with Wet Me One uh, years and years back. I think I was at like the Rio one year and a couple other ones but for the most part when I've been staying it's always been this one and at least for the past like six years or so or the years that I've come out here I haven't been out here though and really been in Vegas for a very long time it's probably like 2019 since I was really doing anything because I was out here for a movie shoot but I didn't really get to look at a lot of stuff so now I'm finally back and can, can kind of go around and see this stuff and I'm one of those kind of people too who likes to see like the changes of things like the things that have closed new things that have opened stuff like that as well and I know some people are gonna be like Sean you go to Vegas but you don't you don't drink you don't gamble but it's like no I don't do that but I walk around and look at things see the sights and that's just sort of always the way I've been I just kind of like like to look at things and everything like that but like I said today gonna kind of go to a couple different spots I'll show any kind of other random things that I come across as well. Might film a little bit tomorrow as well too. But anyway though guys, let the, the um, not the Dollar Tree, that the Las Vegas DVD Blu-ray hunting video begin. But here we are guys over at Record City and it's basically, you know, the stratosphere is right here and it's kind of this like, a lot of people don't even re like miss this place. It's a really small little place. I discovered this years and years back, but it's really a pretty decent place. I found some decent stuff in here. I know my brother found a really good vinyl in here that was like really out of print and rare. It was like a record school store, record store exclusive thing that they still had months after it released. But we'll go in there now. I will tell you guys. I will, you know, give you a warning though that most of these places, like especially I, this place usually in Zia Records, usually are blaring music. So uh, probably gonna be a lot of me just kind of having to narrate over the video, but I wanna get video of stuff. So I don't wanna not be able to. So there's a good chance a lot of it's gonna be, you know, dubbed over and stuff like that. And me talking over what I'm seeing and stuff like that. So if it seems like it's a lot of that, that's why. It's because of the music and everything. But we're gonna head on into Record City and fingers crossed, hopefully we can find something out of print. Yes, but so they were playing music in here. So we're going to kind of look around the store and see the kind of stuff they have. And they have everything separated into sections in here as well. And they have an area in the front of like Blu-rays and DVDs and things like that. And they have like a lot of um, music stuff. So over here is where they have a lot of the Blu-rays. And then they have, I think behind the counter, they had an area that was kind of like out of print things, things along those lines. But I have found in the past some really interesting stuff here. They have a secondary location as well. And that one's closer. I think it's going a little bit towards downtown, I believe. I, I, I always kind of mix up the area, but it's about seven miles or so away from this location, I believe, is where the other one was. I always kind of know that one because it's by a Golden Corral. That was kind of always why I always knew that one. But they have a back room in here as well that's kind of like budget DVDs, which is like two, three dollar ones, like some of the cheaper ones as well. But they have a pretty good horror section as well that we'll go through a little bit as well. But there's like kids section, TV section, things like that around here. They used to have a cult section of like really obscure stuff. I didn't notice that section this time around uh, in there. But then they have, like, here's the horror section in here. And they have some kind of obscure stuff mixed in. And I have in the past, like I was mentioning, found a couple different uh, out-of-print things in here. And, and you kind of see, you know, some common things, but there are a handful of really, really uh, rare, obscure stuff that you come across in here as well. 
I'd say, though, this location is definitely the, the larger of the two record cities. The other location, though, I have found some decent stuff in there as well. The owner of that location is a really nice guy, though. I always kind of go there and just talk to that guy about movies and stuff like that. Hey, guys. So, yeah, like I was thinking, it was very loud music in there. I did get one interesting one in here. This is one that I never bought, had. I don't think I have any of these movies, and it is out of print, and it was $5.00. But I don't have any of these ones in here. And it was one, it was like called like a Crash Course Slasher 101. And it had three different ones in here. It had Bleed, Delta, Delta, Die, uh, the, you know, the Tiffany Shepis one, and then Voodoo Academy. So that wasn't bad for $5. I think it's like $20 and stuff like that. It's like if it's something I don't have. And I don't buy stuff to flip it. I just like to try and find stuff that is like rare that I've never gotten and, you know, for good prices and stuff like that. But now, though, probably, I'm going to see where I go next. I might go to a random mall and then for sure, though, going to a Zia. And, I, and I'll see if I can get to the other record city as well, though, to see. And it's so funny, too. There is a record city even in San Diego, which I've never been to it. And the guy was talking to it to me about it and saying it's actually a pretty good location and stuff. So I, I at some point need to, you know, go down uh, the San Diego, for, for, you know, further down to that one because I've never really gone to that one uh, before. I think it was in another location then it moved, something like that. But anyway though guys, now we're going to go probably either to the mall or to the next uh, record store. Well, here I am guys now on Fremont Street and this is, you know, the old Vegas, the downtown Vegas. I, I always like walking around here. I won't lie though, I do like the, you know, the newer strip better. I, I don't know, I have more kind of more fun there. This one is kind of like, you come here for more like just sort of see like the weirdness and kind of people watch. There's always like a lot of incredibly peculiar, <laughs> strange things that you come across as you walk down there. I'll show you guys anything quickly that I can uh, over here. I went over to the Meadows Mall. There wasn't really too much to show there and anything, but just gonna kind of walk around here. I'll show you guys anything kind of interesting that we see. As you go here too, they project stuff up here on the screen. So they have like videos and play music and stuff like that. And they have a White Castle here, which is very few White Castles at all out in this area. It's kind of one of the few ones in the area, though. Yeah, but we're now out on the main Fremont area. And like I said, you see all these kind of people out here, like street performers and like all sorts of really odd stuff. Usually the later it gets at night, the more and more strange people come out. And there's all sorts of like, you know, kind of like um, souvenir shops and T-shirts and all these kind of random bead things you can wear. And at night out here, too, they have like all these kind of performances and cover bands and all sorts of stuff and like certain times like new years and stuff like literally every single spot here is totally filled up with like nothing here whatsoever somebody's up here like playing the drums every time i think of this area too i think of um you know the um uh how did i blew up the kid for some reason because like they filmed it i think it was before the roof was put on i believe because this didn't used to be covered like this where it has these like stuff that you can see it's a good time to walk around here though because they're not really blasting loud copyrighted music and stuff. So I usually am not able to actually show much of this stuff. And you always, always see people too on ladders in these stores, like guarding to make sure people aren't robbing things. That's the one big thing, you know, you always see out here. It's the ladder people, you know, on, on all the shelves and stuff. And I always like to walk down to the end of the strip down here because right down here is where I always, you look at this, you know, the Plaza Hotel. And this is the one which was the basis for Biff's Hotel in Back to the Future 2. So this is like the hotel that they basically took this look and emulated that for. So it's always cool to look at. And what's cool too is uh, they, I think like once a year they have a horror convention in this convention, in this hotel. I always kind of wanted to go to the one, like a Days of the Dead in this actual uh, hotel and stuff. So that'd be kind of cool. But yeah, it's funny when you're here now though, like during the day and stuff, like this area right here is where it's always full of people dancing and like the performances and stuff, it's like so dead right now in that area. But yeah, like I said, it's always fun to kind of walk around here, look at the stuff, all that kind of stuff as well. I'd like to just show you guys some of the interesting kind of things that I see, you know, as I go around and everything. So here we are now over at Zia Records and I have a feeling there's gonna probably be really loud music. This is the newer location. There was originally like, I think the this original location for this one was originally like somewhere like way back that way, I believe, something like that, kind of sort of in the same vicinity, but they moved to this one. They do still have the other one. I can't remember which one closed, if it was like the really, really old one or not. I, I always mix up which one was the one that closed, but a lot of really cool stuff in here. Lots of DVDs, Blu-rays, rare stuff. I'll show you kind of through the window so you guys can see, but I'll show you guys the best that I can in here and the kind of little overview of things. And one thing though that's so cool, guys, is they actually in here sell Amityville Karen. 
the movie that I directed, you guys can actually get this one in person in here. I have to look at the other location too, if the other Zia Records has this as well. But they have such an amazing horror selection in here and have all kinds of, you know, really obscure stuff and kind of like Vinegar Syndrome stuff and kind of all kind of Shout Factory, Scream Factory. It's one of those kind of places where if you kind of can't find it, it's like, you know, when it comes to like a physical media in-person store, I'd say this is probably one of the best ones to find everything. They have like Reservoir of Dogs, like they, you know, get, of course, get all the new releases and they have because that's what's cool too is a lot of times when it's like some used stores it ends up being just kind of only used and they don't really have much new the good thing about zia is it's a mainly new and then they have all this used as well so it's not like just used which is like basically that's what buybacks the one that went out of business was it was kind of like that where it was just the um used stuff and every so often there'd be some new but not a whole lot but as you guys can see though there is so much stuff in here they kind of turn the music off for a second so i'm able to kind of show it a little bit better but you can see there's all these different sections and there's toys and all kinds of different things of course lots of records you know um music all that kind of stuff but there is let's see if we can find where the horror selection in it, section is of the um, Blu-rays, if they have that separate, they probably do, because that one area was just the um, the DVDs, and they do have VHS tapes here. Let's see though if I can figure out where that is, if they have it separated, because a lot of them are all together. But I think it's right; should be here. Let's see. It'd be funny if they had the Amityville Karen Blu-ray as well, but that was like a limited edition one you had to get from the site. But it would be really funny if they actually ordered that and had that too. I kind of doubt it, but. You never know. So Amityville would be like right in this spot. Do I see any Amityville ones? There should be, I would think there would be some Amityville, but no, I don't see any Amityville ones. Unless, yeah, that's the horror one. So yeah, none of the other ones either. But you can get stuff in here like faceless, you know, Severn ones that you more out of print, obscure type of stuff. So that's what's really cool is you can come here and get all these things, you know, in person and stuff like that. This is one I kind of wanted to, I don't know if I, did I watch this one or not? I don't, can I remember? I don't think so. See anything else interesting in here, but lots and lots of stuff. You always have to check the tops too, because sometimes up here you can see like random stuff. Let's see. These are the 4Ks that are on sale here and stuff like that. So yeah, you always have to check here too, because a lot of these kind of sales on the used things and everything like that in here, but and I want to tell you guys about a kind of a weird conundrum. Like I was going to the other Zia Records location and this is where it always was. It was always here. I don't know how long it's been gone. So like when you look on Yelp and all these places, for some reason it, it goes back to this one that's gone because there's two locations in Vegas and it's moved apparently. I guess they both have moved because the other one was another location and that was the one we were just at. And that one moved to that one a couple years ago. And I guess this one here has moved out. I don't know how long because this was always kind of like that was the first DI I ever was at but even back you can see uh, I went to that one back in the out and about the movie with Brendan when we went to Vegas that in that movie that was the one that we went to was that that one there but yeah I'm gonna head to the other one and see what this new location looks like because I guess this one's not that you know hasn't been here that long it must have been pretty recent well I found the other location this is the new one that moved I had to like call them on the phone and then like get them to give me this address. It's just so weird that the Yelp was taking me to this. To, it was all so screwed up, but I know now this is where it is and everything. But yeah, here's like a look inside at this one. Seems to be pretty big as well, kind of designed like the other one, but we're head on in. So we're going to head into the second location of Zia Records. I'd say this one is probably about the same size as the other one. I think they're very similar. And like, and even though this one moved as well from the other location, I feel like they pretty much kept the same style of like what they had, the toys and all that kind of stuff as well. Because I think this location, from what I could remember, because this was the oldest one that I remember, I think this one used to have a lot more toys in that one. But this one seems like it pretty much kept all that stuff. And But both of them have a really good section of movies and everything like that. I feel like when it comes to like movie stores like this this is definitely the best place because it's it reminds me so much honestly of like an old school tower records or an old school version records it, very much so like where it's like when it's a tuesday they pretty much get like all the new releases which is pretty cool because there's very few places nowadays where you can actually go somewhere and everything new that releases they pretty much have everything and that's what's really cool and that's the one thing i do like about zia and the, and the prices are not terrible as well they're not like like super super low but they're not like the highest prices i've seen for stuff like this as well 
And it's always nice to be able to find stuff in person and find physical copies. This is a film that I helped put together. I'm in this one. I'm one of the, uh, pretty much the main character, and it's all about people doing this Amityville hex thing, and then terrible things happen to them. And I helped bring together a lot of the actors and stuff like that for that one. So it was cool that they had uh, that one, you know, as well available in there. But always a real cool place. This was like randomly in there, Steve-O in the horror section. I don't know why that was in there, but really great store, and always love to check this place out when I come to Vegas. Hey guys, I wanted to document something kind of funny. I ended up in the South Point Casino. I always like to kind of come to this one. I always kind of call this the horse casino because they have like all these kind of horse events. And there's like, I came in here and there's literally like a horse convention going on. And it's like all sorts of, to me, I just wanted to document a second of it just to remember this, because it's just funny to me. It's all horse stuff. It's like, you know, saddles and like jockey clothes and like stuff for horses and like kind of, you know, Western kind of clothing and like massaging chairs and like, you know, your arse is hurting after you ride the horse all day, stuff, stuff like that. But yeah, it's just kind of funny. And then I think somewhere down here is like a um, event going on down here. Like when you look down, but yeah, I don't know. I always think kind of things like this are interesting and like just like random to come across, you know, this this horse event. It's what it is, the horse convention. And I even in my mind like imagine oh, it'd be funny if I went to this place and there was like a horse convention going on. And here's the thing too, it's free. You don't have to pay anything to come in here and you know wander around and see all this stuff. Let's see the horses now though. Oh yeah, see you guys can see the horses down there. They're like doing all kind of like shows and stuff like that. I can't play much of the music and stuff like that because it's copyrighted, but but yeah, it's kind of funny to see that in here though. But yeah, guys, it's the next day now. It's Friday now at the casino, you know, in Vegas and everything. And it's very busy. I'm at the Bellagio because I'm going to go to the buffet here uh, to eat. This is the one I've never actually, I don't believe I've ever gone to this buffet before. This is going to be the first time that I've gone to this one. So I'll get a, like a little, little video in there to show, you know, what it looks like and everything though. But yeah, it's very, very busy. Very, very busy now though. But yeah, I'm now inside of the buffet. They had a thing where you could like pay a little extra and like buy the, the pass online instead of waiting in the really long line. So like, I'm glad I did that. It was like $10 more or something. But this one's, I've never been to this one. I've seen videos of it where they have so many different things like macaroons and like much better quality stuff like pizza. So there's all these different sort of stations of different kinds of stuff, different areas. So you kind of have to like, kind of look through everything in here. But you see like very impressive types of desserts and all these kind of little things, all that type of stuff. If you get the dessert first, you're sort of like Mr. Bungle though. But yeah, lots of big noodles over there and all sorts of different stuff here. Chinese food, lots of stuff. drumming going on up here. I don't know what, where's that crazy drumming sound coming from? But yeah, I just finished at that buffet. That was actually a very good buffet. It was funny though, they didn't have like for the seafood, normally they always have like, you know, crab legs and some of those type of stuff. It was like funny, they didn't have like anything like that today. It's like always like sort of like a rarity because you know you always sort of see that stuff. But yeah, there's some sort of like stomp drumming going on back here. Side of the um, the form shops and this one every time I come here I always think about how this one has like the weirdest escalators I've never seen because normally escalators go straight up these ones here 
And I, I don't know, I always like, like this. They like swirl around like this, see? They go up this way, it's not straight. It goes into a circle and all this kind of stuff. So kind of an interesting, you know, escalator up that you don't normally see, you know, one like that. Yeah, they have most of the Christmas stuff up. A lot of the places have been kind of just starting to get it out. Because usually when I come here, it's normally in December, so I always see all the Christmas. They have probably about like 80% of it out, but there's a lot of there you kind of, when you go around, you kind of see them fixing it up and putting it together and stuff like that. But yeah, see, the, well, both, I all like this in here, how they go around like this. Well, I'm now at the last day of the trip. I'm actually, the final day, because I'm actually gonna be heading back uh, home uh, now, but I didn't end up getting to go to the other Record City location. There's two different ones. This one's the one that's like further out. It's like, I think like eight miles or so from the strip area. The other one that I went to earlier though, that one is right by the stratosphere. That's probably like a mile from the stratosphere, but this one usually has some interesting stuff. It's not as big. We'll go in here and see what they have. It's probably gonna be the same thing though, where I have to put, you know, the music, you know, the music playing, so I have to kind of narrate over it, but we shall see. Maybe Fingers crossed, it wasn't on right now, but we will see though, we shall see. But into the second record city we go. Let's take a peek through the window thing too. So we're heading into the second Record City location. I will tell you guys too, I didn't end up getting an ending to this video, so it's gonna kind of just end. So I'll kind of say goodbye to you guys as we kind of go through the video. This was kind of cool to see in here, this one, uh, Looker. That was a great movie. I really love the music in that as well. That's like a Warner Archive one. I already had that one, but it was only $5, which is like for a movie like that, like a, it was a really good price. That's the one thing, this place has really, really fair prices. I mean, there's lots of stuff all over the place, so you gotta really look through everything, but I found, uh, not this time around, but last time around, I found a lot of really great out-of-print stuff. I remember finding, like, a Doom Generation and a handful of other ones at this location. So if you really, really look through the stuff, you can definitely find some really cool stuff in here. So definitely would recommend uh, this place. The one place that went out of business was Buybacks. That was another place that used to be in the area, but really recommend this. But anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching and subscribing, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!